This is my life's work. Decades of experimenting went into the creation of this book. Spent over $100,000 putting this book together. Coach Greg and guess what? Sean Nelawagic, he reviewed my cookbook of all the thousands, maybe millions of cookbooks in the world. He chose to review mine. Looking back a few years ago and to think that today I have the leading anabolic cookbook in the world, the entire world. Coach Greg, unbelievable. I'm sure you're thinking, well, it's not the number one bought book in the world. Probably not. I'm sure Chef Ramsay sold more books, but it's an anabolic book made to help you lose weight. And guess what? Sean did a video and it says why I'd never buy a friggin' cookbook and he goes over reasons why he wouldn't want to buy my cookbook. But he at least did in fact purchase the cookbook and he chose a few of them, the most simple ones and still got them wrong. But he said it's of no benefit to him. And of course he doesn't. Why would this guy need the book? He's already in shape, already knowledgeable. Why would he need my book? He wouldn't. But for the vast majority of people who have been dieting year after year, yo-yo dieting, not being successful, this is the book that they can use. Simple recipes that are easy to make if you do in fact read instructions that even a teenager could make. That's why the book is so great and has testimonials of people who bought the book saying it changed their life. And so I read the comments, people thinking, Coach Greg is gonna lose his mind. Oh my God, he's so mad. Why? Because he didn't like my book? Because he said it's all right, okay, that he doesn't need it? You think I want people to make videos and pretend they like something when they don't? You think I cherry pick videos and only talk about ones that are positive? No, I talk about anything. This doesn't hurt me, it helps me. Sean chose my book out of all the books in the world to talk about. Think of it. It's a compliment. Even if he doesn't like it, and even if it doesn't benefit him, it's a compliment. Amazing. More people are going to see it. Oh, this guy has a book. What's that book? And then they're going to look and say, wow, I didn't know it was that good. I want it now. Personally, I'm not really a fan of spending money in those ways. And I think the general practice of fanboying over fitness YouTubers is probably not the best mindset to fall into in general. So Sean, he doesn't like spending a lot of money. He thinks $150 for a cookbook is a lot. He'd rather research on his own, go through thousands of videos and pick out the proper recipe that he would want for his specific needs. Why would you buy designer clothing, Louis Vuitton, Gucci, or a six-figure sports bar? Like, what moron would do that? I may have bought two. And I get it, not everyone can afford it. So if you can't afford it, you can't buy it, but you can't shit on other people who can't afford it and who want it. Spend the money where you want it. Allie, she likes it when I take her out to a restaurant. Last time I went, $240 to eat supper, one meal once and guess what she didn't like the meal she was eating and so she gave it to me so i ate my meal and hers and she drank wine and what kind of wine well it wasn't the cheapest one and i can't tell the difference between a thousand dollar bottle of wine and a thirty dollar bottle of wine i don't get it so i think it's silly to spend it on that but that's my opinion not hers so is 150 dollars a lot for a book maybe but if it can help you lose weight once and for all, change your life, it's a steal. It really, really is. And I have to laugh in the comment section. Obviously, some people are for buying the book and some are against. And this individual wrote, why am I going to spend days looking for hundreds of recipes when I can have them all organized in a single on the palm of my hand? I'm going to waste a lot more than $150 searching all those recipes, wasting time I could use to work. It all depends how much money you make. Time is money. If you earn 200 plus dollars an hour like me, then you are not wasting money. You are earning money by not wasting time. Of which the response was, if you make that money, then hire a proper chef and a proper trainer. That could be more useful than his cookbook. His response, I have one, he cooks from the book. So even if you have a bunch of money, can afford it, doesn't mean that the chef you have can't cook from the cookbook. The recipes are simple. Anyone can do it. You don't need a chef. But even if you can have a chef, 
It's still beneficial, and I've coached a number of people who have private chefs who, in fact, use the book to help in planning out the recipes. First off, there are entire YouTube channels that are basically dedicated to putting out fitness recipes. This here is another channel that I became uh, aware of recently, Exercise for Cheat Meals. Tons of great options there. And I'm happy to see he's promoting someone in my Power 13 cookbook. You knew I had more than one, right? So I printed out Power 13 cookbook and and look who's in it. Nick from Exercise for Cheat Meals, as I like to say, Exercise for Cheats. He's in it. So if you want to support him, you can use his discount code when you do buy it. 13 YouTubers, influencers, some used to be morbidly obese, lost weight, others just general people who are promoted in the book, Power 13, a compilation of several YouTubers. So if you want to support them, you can buy and use their discount code as that money goes directly to them. You can just go to Google. So punch in search terms like high protein, bodybuilding, healthy, low calorie, and then just plug in whatever recipe you want after that. And yeah, I get it. You can type in a search, healthy protein muffins, diet brownies, energy bar, healthy weight loss. But do you know what? Can you actually trust that recipe? Do you know how many people are fooled into thinking that just because something is healthy that it's going to help them lose weight? The calorie chart on fruits and vegetables alone ranked highest to lowest in calories. That alone could be worth the $150. Imagine the time you'll save by quickly knowing exactly how many calories are in the fruits or vegetables that you're eating and that you can trust is accurate. Try typing something right now. Find out how many calories is actually in that food you've ate. Might say 100, 150, 200. The same portion, one says it's 100, the other 200, which is accurate. And this book is specifically written for people who are having a hard time to lose weight. It specifically caters to people who need low calorie dense foods to help them feel full. Big eaters, people who struggle on a diet, people who have dieted in the past, regain the weight and can't follow a diet for life. This is the forever diet, the circle diet, the book that will end all books, the last book that you will ever need. So do you need the book? No, you can do as he's saying, research everything, make sure you find trusted sources that you know are giving quality recipes that are easy to make, that anyone can do with simple step-by-step -step instructions and that are low calorie dense that will help you feel full and that the calories and macros are tracked for you, that has a vegetable and fruit calorie chart and offers you all kinds of insight, has recipes that are tried and tested by thousands of people, but from a reliable source such as Coach Greg. If you can do that all on your own, then do it. Spend hours, days, weeks, years, like I did, creating the perfect diet for you. And overall, the recipes seem okay. Like it's not a bad cookbook. Um, there is some decent stuff in there. And so overall he says, the book's okay. There's some decent stuff in there. It's not bad. So it's not like he's saying, this makes no sense. It's a horrible book. He just doesn't know how to justify the price. He just doesn't see the value in having this all readily available at your fingertips over doing the research yourself. But this is a researcher been researching for years. It's hard for him to put himself in other people's shoes. People who don't know as much as he does. They might appreciate having this all in one place, all carefully laid out for them. Oddly basic recipes as well though. For example, two pieces of bread with ground beef and gravy inside or salmon and cream cheese on top of a rice cake. And I know he's just trying to poke fun and make the recipe seem worse than they actually are, but this is what he's talking about. This is what it looks like. And he's saying, well, it's just too simple. It's too basic. Anyone could have come up with that. That's the beauty of this. It's simple and basic and anyone can do it. Anyone can get that plain rice cake where they usually put on peanut butter and jam loaded in calories and instead switch it up and put some salmon on top loaded in omega-3 fatty acids, healthy fat, and add vegetables, micronutrients that you need and make it more filling and more voluminous. Anyone could have done that, except I did. I did that, and it's in the book, and it's amazing, and I eat it all the time, probably three times a week. I absolutely love it. So maybe you're not a fan of salmon. I don't really like salmon that much on its own, but like this, love it. Salmon on a scale of one to 10, probably a two or three for me. Not very delicious, 
I go to a restaurant, salmon's on the menu, I don't order, I don't like it. But guess what? Like this, I love it. So bringing it into the circle, salmon on its own, not really something I like. But in here, I bring it into my circle. I can eat it. Tastes amazing. So imagine having a cookbook filled with ideas just like this. Just as creative, just as simple, just as easy. And tastes amazing. Imagine what that can do for you. He talks about a grilled cheese sandwich. Well, not everyone knows you can use protein bread or lower fat cheese that's higher in protein to make it more anabolic. Not everyone knows that. Or you could try the other ones, like this cheesy grilled egg white French toast sandwich. Amazing. I guarantee if he tried out the entire cookbook, made all the recipes, he'd be mind blown. Be like, wow, that actually tastes amazing. Why don't I eat that sometimes? I like that. That apple pie breakfast bake, never thought of that. And the recipe he was most displeased with was the veggie pigs in a blanket. I thought, you know, there's vegetarians out there. They want to eat healthy too. So gave them a recipe, something simple that they'll love. Allie loves this. I showed her Sean's video and she was like, that is one of my favorite recipes. It's simple, I eat it all the time. What is wrong with simple? Do recipes to need to be overly complex like Gordon Ramsay would make to be impressive? What makes this cookbook impressive is the simplicity of it. It's harder to make simple recipes taste amazing than elaborate recipes with tons of ingredients that you need a PhD in bakery to do. I know friggin' chef, probably like you. Struggled in the kitchen when I was younger, didn't know my way around, made the most basic things, Pop-Tart, total strudels. Toaster strudels. Craft dinner. Quickly realized this ain't helping me lose weight. Had to learn how to lose weight, how to make simple recipes. Didn't have the time. Experimented with recipes over the years because I was coaching and dieting for bodybuilding competitions. Always on a diet, it seemed. Struggling, being hungry. Said, don't want to be hungry. Want to be satisfied, feel full. I created this cookbook out of necessity for me. 59 bodybuilding competitions needed a way that I could diet and sustain it for the rest of my life. This is my life's work. Decades of experimenting went into the creation of this book. Spent over $100,000 putting this book together. And you think there's no other expenses? I don't wanna go into everything, but who do you think's writing you back when you have a question or a problem? Customer service, think that's free? Think the website's free? All the problems, the updates that go on? It is not easy. I do my best to give you the best quality products possible. If you don't want to buy it, I respect that. If it's not for you, that's fine. We all have the right to like or dislike the book. If it's too expensive, you think it should be cheaper, I get it. Louis Vuitton, $3,000 for a purse. I think it's a lot. Some people buy it. $1,500 pair of slippers, shoes. Some people get it. Hundreds of thousands or millions of dollars on a sports car. Do you need it? Maybe, maybe not. The point is, it is a quality product, and if you look at the reviews overall, amazing. There are actually certain advantages to just looking up recipes on your own, and that's because you can find the exact ones that are most suited to you. Which is exactly what's in the book. This is catered for people who are trying to lose weight. Low calorie, high volume recipes. That's the point of the book. So if you're looking for high calorie foods to help you bulk, of course, don't get the book. And if you already have your diet down packed, you're 15% body fat for men, 25 for women, you feel good, look good, you're drinking regular Coke, don't switch. If you already love your diet, you love your body, there's no reason to switch. I mean, you could buy it anyway just to see what else is out there, but certainly you don't need it. And if you can't afford it, keep watching my videos. You've seen recipes in the past, I used to do them on my own, the anabolic series, anabolic recipes in my kitchen where there are no rules. And more recently, me and my girlfriend, Allie, from All About Allie, we've been cooking these together, showing you how to make them. And it's free, you can watch my videos for free. So in summary, the book is for someone who wants to lose weight or has trouble maintaining their weight, and they want simple, easy to make recipes that won't keep you in the kitchen all day. If that sounds like you, click the link in the description and get the friggin' cookbook. Or you can decide if you need to gain weight, lose weight, what kind of recipes you do, research, find out if the recipes are from a trusted source or credible, and get reviews, and go on Reddit, and type here, click there, print out that, experiment it, make it, see, does it make sense, and then get somebody else to make the recipe to see if it balances out, and then see, are the macros right, or the calories right, and then decide, did that make you full or not? 
not so full? Was it low calorie or not? And was it just healthy or was it low in calories? Or was it low in calories and healthy? Or was it unhealthy and low in calories? And what kind of sweetener to use? And I don't know what to do. And, and, and I'm breaking down. Or, or you can get the book. I mean, the choice is yours. It's, it's yours. Ending it here. GregDuset.com for coaching. GregDuset IP Pro. Please watch the boobs. Supplements, cook, book, training book, coaching plans, me and my team. Subscribe, click the bell button. And until next time, I'm out.